My name is Mike Lawton. I am the founder and CEO of Oxford Space Systems. So we're currently in our third year of operation. It's grown very rapidly and now we're up to 16 full-time moves. The reason OSS is working on a new generation of deployable structures is to address the eternal challenge that any satellite builder faces. How do you turn these satellites into very useful products once they're in space? So the space industry is evolving very rapidly. We've had traditional, what we call, old space. But in the last decade or so, with the collapse in cost of things like electronic components, we're now seeing what we call new space. So we don't actually need the cost and expense and capability of these radiation-hardened components. We can actually get away with commercial off-the-shelf components. So it means space is becoming much, much more accessible on a much, much shorter time frame. So what OSS is doing is working on a new generation of deployables. All this technology needs to magically unpack and furl when it's on orbit to turn the satellite into something useful. So you're very familiar with carbon fibre, normally a fixed rigid material. We can make carbon fibre do really interesting things like this. So what we're doing is unravelling the material which is on this drum at the back here. It's going down through a drive mechanism and then being pushed up vertically through this stack of carbon fibre tubes. Powerwell Space Campus has some of the best facilities in Europe for developing and testing space hardware. So every time we design and develop uh, a project uh, or a product for space, it needs to go through some very extensive testing. And as a minimum, that will be a thermal vacuum testing uh, or a vibration test as well. So with AstroTube, we've actually set two industry records. We've set the fastest time a product has been developed from material concept into a product and then into orbit. So we've done that in less than 30 months. And the fact that our boom system is fully retractable means we have the world's longest retractable CubeSat boom system. So we can take a decision to prototype or build something on Monday, and the engineers are itching to get their hands on hardware by the following morning. So that means we need to be able to get hold of materials and components on very, very short lead time. So working with companies such as RS, getting those components in less than 24 hours is absolutely critical to us.